Good morning, kindergarten. All right, today is Wednesday, April 8th, and Christian is going to be rocking his special helper day. So let's get started. Stand up and say the pledge, and then we will get rolling with all of our work with Christian. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let's get ready to sing our special helper song to Christian. Here he is, ready to roll. Who is special? Who is special? Look and see, look and see. Someone very special, someone very special. Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. All right, Christian is ready to do all of the morning message work. And you all have your binders at home to get started writing morning message. And then we will do Christian's number sentence for his name and build some words from his big long name today. He's got lots of letters to work with. All right, Christian's ready to read. Here we go. Dear Kindergarten, today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Christian is the special helper. Love, Mrs. Oberg. And Christian O'Donnell has a very long name. So let's take a look at all of his letters. All right, down here we've got Christian has nine letters and O'Donnell has eight letters. Boy, that is going to be some tough work. Mrs. Oberg thinks we should take a peek at the biggest number nine and count on from nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Nine letters plus eight letters equals 17 letters in all of Christian O'Donnell's name. All right, so make sure that you have taken care of filling that part out. Make sure you're writing your own first and last name. Use those line spaces correctly. Hold that pencil correctly. And super double strength space power between them. And then Christian O'Donnell's name all of his letters, take all of his letters, and I want to see today, I know you'll be able to fill up all of those boxes. See, today I'm going to challenge you. Even if you can't fit them all on here, I want to challenge you to see if you can build at least six words from Christian O'Donnell. Big super challenge, go for ten. See if you can build 10 words out of Christian O'Donnell's name. Invite somebody from your family to help you. It'll be a good little project. All right, and you can use all of your sticky notes or go ahead and use your magnet letters. All right, Christian O'Donnell's work is all finished with morning message, and now we're going to take a peek at our handwriting for today. All right, we have letter J to work on today, lowercase j. And when we make our lowercase j, it goes down below the line, and we need to turn and look right up at where smile corner would be. So think about where smile corner is. And you go down below the line, and when you curve it up, you need to be looking up at Smile Corner 
and don't forget the dot. So here we go. We start at midline, down below the line, and don't forget the dot. The sound that represents letter J is J, J, J. Here we go, make our uppercase, pull down, mild corner, take a peek, and give it a top. Lowercase down below the line, and don't forget the dot. Down below the line, and don't forget the dot. Make all of your J's, J, 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 and let's turn it over. And now, ooh, we know about this swimming letter P. Letter P goes for a swim, and just like we would swim, 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 and then you gotta curve around and bump the wall. So here we go, we have to dive down into the basement, and we swim straight back up and around and bump. So the sound that represents letter P is here we go. Uppercase P is a, you got it, frog jump capital. Here we go. Big line, frog jump, little curve. Then we want to dive down in the basement, swim straight back up around and bump the wall. Dive down in the basement, swim straight back up around and bump the wall. All right, go ahead and make all of your P's. Do your best. Pencils, helper hand, quality kindergarten work. Let's rock it, kindergarten. All right. And now, today, I want to talk to you a little bit about some stories. So we have been reading yesterday a story about a bunny that got in trouble. Remember, Ralph? Well, today what we're going to do is on one of the stories I'm going to send to you is a story about more bunny trouble. And in the story, more bunny trouble, more things are going to happen. So this is what I wanna teach you today, kindergarten. We can't just read about what's right in front of us. We wanna have that extra strength power to be thinking about more things and we want to make sure that our book talk power when we share what we're reading about to others that we know lots of details like do you remember the main character's name in bunny trouble from yesterday oh yeah ralph and then he had a problem hmm that's right. He didn't always follow directions. He didn't listen to what the directions were to color the eggs. He didn't want to do his work. He just wanted to kick his baseball. No, 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 no. Soccer ball. We don't kick baseballs. Soccer ball. So as you're reading stories, you really want to tune in to those details and think about all of those things. That's why we don't want to just read a story one time. We might want to read a story a lot of different times so that when you're telling that story to someone else, you have lots of great things to talk about. What the characters were feeling, what was happening in the story, where the story took place. All of those things are important for being a great, strong reader. So when you head off to read in your private read today, Maybe you're working on a story that you can really think about those things with. Also, remember, good reading can happen from our poem binders, and you can also read to a stuffed animal, read to another family member. Enjoy reading for at least 10 minutes today, okay? And then when I read you the story today about more bunny trouble, I want you to think about this. So remember, sometimes, just like you've maybe gone to a movie, like Frozen, that was the first movie. Then they came out with another movie called the sequel or the next step in that movie sequence. And it was Frozen 2. So today, 
This story is going to be the sequel when I read you all about bunny trouble or more bunny trouble. So be ready for that too. All right, now kindergarten, we're gonna head to talk about all of our math work. We know exactly what to do. Mr. Christian is going to lead our math calendar work today. We will get number eight, circle around, pull, there we go, make an S, close that gate, and there's our eight. Make sure that you are doing your weather, read and sing that song, and then Mrs. Oberg knows you know all about doing your number page, and of course, Christian, what number do they need to write in the middle today? Eight. Make an S and close the gate. That is how you make an eight and do all of your work on your number page today. All right, now kindergarten. Yesterday, you had a job to do. You had to make some little bunny puppets and you have a poem that goes with it. So let me get ready. All right, I'm ready. So you're gonna need those math bunny puppets today for math time. And you're going to need to just watch what Mrs. Oberg is doing and then you can do this work at home yourself. So, all right, the title of my poem, I'm actually gonna clip that poem up right here and you can see it. It says, five little bunnies. Well, we know we need to have five little bunnies then, don't we? There we go, I've got five little bunnies. So here they are, five little bunnies hopping on the floor. One hopped away and then there were four. So I started with five. One hopped away. Do I want to add or subtract? Ooh, if I'm getting less or it's getting smaller, it's subtract. So a minus sign, five bunnies minus one bunny equals how many bunnies are left? Check my poem, yep, four. Four little bunnies, sweet as can be. One hopped away and then there were Four bunnies minus one bunny equals how many bunnies are left? Three. All right. Three little bunnies I once knew. One hopped away and then there were two. Two little bunnies, oh, what fun! One hopped away, and then there was one. One little bunny playing in the sun. One hopped away, and then there were none. And we know that number is zero. Do this work at home today, and then tell somebody about some of the patterns or things you notice in all of this math work. Have fun with your bunnies. All right, and of course we know our last job we always have to take care of is making sure we're writing in our journals. There are lots of important little journal prompts, or you can write about anything you want. Maybe you want to turn yourself into a bunny. Maybe you want to write some number sentences in your journal today about bunnies. Do writing and do some sentence work with it. Capitals, double strength, space power between your words, and don't forget punctuation. All right, and remember this week, choice board activities. Choose something and make sure you're doing some of those. Play outside and enjoy spring. I think it might have finally sprung. All right, have a great night. See you later, kindergarten.